inspired by bitterness. Oh, sorry. Am I supposed to do something, Pat? Yeah, I forgot yes. to record, but from this point on, they're okay with everyone, it'll be recorded. Okay. okay. So now, okay, make sure, because yeah, you know my technology skills are so great here. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> but the thing is, what ended up happening in the end, the king recognized the God that the, that the three Hebrew boys um, worshiped is what we're doing, is what our lives are doing as we're going through a trial, through a, through a pandemic, is our life helping somebody else know the God that we know. The most important thing is that people come to know God. Many people say they believe God, but do they know God? How would they know God if they don't see him through us? And so Nebuchadnezzar saw God through the three Hebrew boys. So when, when um, it's, it's God's desire um, for our lives to go, as we're going through trials, not just to happen. It requires a choice on our part to receive his strength. Uh, without God strengthening our faith through the trials, we will melt in self-pity and merge from the furnace with our emotions charred by bitterness. So how shall we respond when a trial comes into our lives? We should choose strength. But for, from a practical standpoint, just how do we choose a victory through um, God's strength? He gives us, we should resist, is one of the things she said. We should read God's word, and we should rejoice. So that's, so, um, you know, if you're going through a furnace today, if you're going through a furnace or a trial today, choose strength. Uh, Mr. Chabelle says, choose strength. God's strength. He will enable you to walk with, with him through the flames, enveloped in his grace, and it enables you to give the Lord the precious reassurance of pure faith when you stand before him. Awesome, 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 Donna. Thank you for that wonderful uh, insight to those things that's the thing that is how choose to be strong we must choose right. to be strong so uh yeah thank you donna mm -hmm. our next presenter will bring forth uh, uh first i'll go back to see if, is jonah Vila on the line uh or has she arrived no okay okay olivet strickland is next Olivet, hi ladies will come forth come forth now hi, and share ladies. Olivette will be, hi, Olivette will be, she's from Georgia, all the way from Georgia, and she will be discussing Choose to be Filled with the Spirit. The floor is yours, Olivette. Hi, ladies. Thanks so much uh, for inviting me. I truly enjoyed reading this book. I tell you, like I said in my presentation, it was edification to my spirit and to my mind, body, and to my very soul. Choose to be filled with the spirit. I like how the author here let us know that all of this uh, is a choice. And if you don't make a good choice, then you'll see that choice again later on down the road. Uh, come and go with me over in page uh, 117. Uh, it talks about Matthew 6 and 33, and that's a very familiar scripture, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all other things, everything that we desire, hopes and dreams, all other things shall be added on to us if we first seek God. He filters everything. When we seek him early in the morning before we start our day, then he filters everything in our life through him. It has to go through the blood. And we Amen. don't feel the impact because he's the ruler. He's the creator. He's over all things. Everything belongs to our God. That's why the author here told us choose to be filled with the spirit so we would have the filter mm. on. I like how in chapter 13 that the author became the, the, the protagonist. She became the protagonist in the relationship to tell us how and why. And how the book came about, her husband thought she should write it. Why? 
is it always got to be about my life? Why am I always on display? She tells us. I, I want to write something else. I don't want it to be about me. But the word of God tells us that by your testimonies, Mm. other people become overcomers by your testimony and she was always writing about her life because her life has given us a way of escape here of her testimony in this book has took us back to the word of god over and Mm -hmm. over again giving us the way of escape to everyday and practical life I enjoyed her being the protagonist here. Uh, we, she's talked about a life shaped with joy and blessings. And, you know, when Jesus shed it, his blood, he didn't just give us life, but he gave us life abundantly. It tells us that in John 10 and 10 and B, a life abundantly. And I like how she said that we were super She said that we are super abundant, not just any kind of life, but super abundant life is what we walk in. And when we walk in that, we have the joy of God, the strength of God, like Donna was talking about. And we have the spirit filled life of God. Our bodies and souls nourish off of the word of God. When we have the super abundant life, because remember, everything is filtered through God. And I like how she talked about over here, the Holy Spirit will shape you. Won't you allow the Holy Spirit to shape you? Come on. Come the on. word of God said, I know the thoughts I have for you. Thoughts mm-hmm. of good and not of evil to bring you, your life, your career, your ministry into me or into an expected end that, that he expects of you. I said, oh, we need to let the Holy Ghost shape us just like she talked about. The choice to walk in the spirit has the power. See, we need the power of God. Come on. Amen. The choice to walk in the spirit has the power to shape us. Just right from the beginning, it began to shape you into a vessel of honor, grace, and humility before the Lord thy God. You know, I like talk. I love how she talked about how we stand in different places once the Holy Ghost began to shape us. And we stand in a place of victory, saints. We're fighting from a place of victory. We're singing from a place of victory. We're praying from a place of victory. That's what we are, because we are super abundant because his word says we are. And it is a commandment. She pointed it out. It's a commandment for us to serve him, to read his word, to let him use us. He commands us to be filled with the spirit of God. It validates us in who we are in God. I like that part, being validated in my Father. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. When we surrender, do you know every time we surrender, we're validated again? Like every time you go into a parking garage, they stamp you. You went last year, they stamp you. You went the other day, they stamped you. Huh? Hey, hey, that's when you know you're fighting Mm -hmm. from a place of victory and you're Mm -hmm. surrendering on a daily base to who? The most holy and righteous God who's the head of our life. I tell you, she, she talked about the source. She said often we give control to our lives to other people on page 175. Um, she said um, often. That means you're doing it daily. When your medicine said take it daily, that is often. They correspond with each other. She said often we give our lives, our decisions to other sources. Stop it. Command your day. I tell my medicine, I'm taking you, but you have to do what the medicine is supposed to do. No side effects. This is what you have to do. What God has ordained you to do, medicine. 
Don't <laughs> let the devil live rent free in your head. Because what Amen. does he come to do? Amen. Steal, kill, and destroy you. Stop giving your control away to the enemy and go back to your place of victory where the blood is covering your life and where God is a filter. I say, you go ahead on, girl, with that. <laughs> I say, you go, girl. Because, you know, you go, girl. <laughs> no more chains holding us. Go back to yeah. your place of victory. Plead the blood uh -huh. over your life. And like Donna uh -huh. said, begin to pray for the mm -hmm. spirit of the Lord to take over. You know, we suffer from a spiritual starvation. Why? Uh, because no. we don't know who we are. Mm -hmm. We refuse to tell the enemy, I know who I am. And I know what I'm called to do. And I know the God that I serve, the God of creation. So because we won't do it on a daily uh -huh. case, we give our power to the enemy. Mm -hmm. Our love language, and I like how she talked about as we go on down here, the characteristics. You know the characteristics of the enemy. I just told you his characteristics. He come to kill, steal, and destroy. Mm -hmm. And she says here, I'm still smiling to myself when I remember an incident. Incidents, accidents, they are not to drag you back when they come back to your memory. Put a smile on it. Put a praise on it and say, I'm still in victory over it. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. I love that how she brought that out. Don't be mumbling and murmuring, murmuring and complaining, but go to your place of victory. Yes. And our love yeah. language for God. All she talked about to be have a grateful speech. Hallelujah. Begin to proclaim it. I am successful. I am retired and healthy. Everything in my body has to line up with the word of God. My Amen. systems are functioning at their highest capacity because God is using you at your highest capacity. Look what he just brought you through. Like Donna said. He's brought you out on the other side. So your love language is gratefulness. It's joyful songs. Oh, I have fell in love with the rain. So I go out on my deck when it right after rain and I began to dance in the rain before my God. Because whether you know it or not, he has done great things in me, through me, and in all of our lives. Look, we're still together. After many years of serving in the same ministry, our love language, our love language should be joyful. And we should desire a sincere loving relationship with our Heavenly Father. Why? I'm glad you asked me why. Because <laughs> He cultivates the gifts in us, cultivates the gifts in us so that we can give them out as we go out to serve. That's my mm. takeaway from chapter 13. I serve from a place of victory. I fight from a yes. place of victory. Amen. I am victorious. Why? Amen. Because of the blood. Amen. Amen. That's right. <laughs> Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 You got one guy gave me. Amen. Got it fired up tonight, Malabet. Right up. The spirit will do that. Yeah. The Amen. Will do that. Amen. The spirit will okay, do it. So we're just Amen. Checking. Uh, Amen. Amen. Okay. Uh, I think uh, we'll check one more time. Is Joan Baylor here? No, she's not. Or Vicky, or Vicky Summers? No. I'm here. I'm oh, here. You okay. You're on the phone. Oh, there okay. she is. I'm on the phone. Come yep. On. Hey, on the phone. We take you on the phone. Well, I didn't even Alabama. know I was going to be speaking, but, you know, I have no idea that I was going to be, but, you know, in, in short, uh, short come of this, uh, my chapter was chapter six, choose to let go, releasing your past to the God of grace. And I have to tell you what, what's really ironic about this chapter and why I was so drawn to it 
um, is really things that I'm actually going through right now in my life. And I was telling Tammy, um, you know, there's a lot of things about myself that I'm very self-conscious about. And this whole chapter talks about how, how you look at yourself, you know, uh, and in my presentation, you know, it start, starts out talking about the amusement parks, you know, where you can go and look in those, those mirrors and they make you look all kinds of different ways, fat, skinny, short, tall. Well, I happen to be, I feel like I'm a beached whale right now. And, I, you know, I'm very, very, I don't know, I'm very self-conscious about my weight. And um, I'm also very self-conscious because, you know, my when I had one of my surgeries, the anesthesiologist knocked one of my bottom teeth out and it was like a trigger effect. And about four of them fell out and I still haven't been able to afford to get them fixed yet. So I, I'm really, you know, very uh, standoffish about, you know, smiling and talking and all of that because of that. And Tammy said, you know, that's a spirit. You need to get that thing off of you. And so this chapter kind kind of blows it in your face, you know, um, especially when you're facing exactly what it's talking about. And, I mean, uh, she talks about, you know, like, what do you see when you look in the mirror? And, you know, I'm sure for every one of us, we see something different. And I, I know that. I know that we're all human and there's always something about ourselves that, you know, that we feel, you know, ugly about or, or, you know, um, just things that you just don't, that you just don't like about yourself. <laughs> and, um, so those, those are my, those are my things right now. And, and also, I mean, I, I have been diagnosed just recently, um, with, um, uh, interstitial lung disease and I was like there was nothing wrong with my lungs and so I did my test yesterday my pulmonary test and I, as far as what the the nurse told me I you know I did just fine but um, I go to do my CAT scan tomorrow to see if my lungs have gotten any worse and this is apparently a disease that can't be uh, fixed it there's no reversal and I was like but they they don't know my God because my God says I don't have it anyway and I'm healed and made whole in the name of Jesus and <clears throat> yeah so uh, you know all these things are hitting me uh, I, I, bought, I just bought a brand new home and they're delivering it tomorrow I'm so excited um, but you know even even when the devil wants to try to make you feel like you're, you know, like you're no good and like you don't look this way, you don't look that way. You know, I mean, those are all lies from hell. And I mean, I know that, you know, and it just, it gets to you sometimes, you know, it really does. And, you know, with all these diseases, now y'all were talking about taking pills as I was taking a whole handful of them. I, I just took about 25 pills, you know, but I know, and I say that prayer every, every single time I take my pills i don't know what your name was our last presenter but um i, I do i i tell those you know I, I i ask jesus to bless those pills and to do what they're supposed to do to my body and i always you know thank him for healing me for the diseases that they go for and you know okay fine so i have to take some pills you know but it, it when jesus wants to take them away he's going to one way or the other you know, and so I take them faithfully, and I say those prayers faithfully every time I take them. So, you know, um, but um, I know she, you know, she talks about also, you know, about forgetting, forgetting your past. You know, I mean, I have one heck of a past, and I mean, it, it's a, it's such a past that you know, I'll probably have a three hundred fifty page book by the time I'm finished with it. <laughs> Um, about my past, but you know, I mean, I know that God led me through every one of those situations for a reason. And you know, I mean, my ultimate goal is to build a home for a way, uh, a home for wayward kids. And you know, and I, I think the devil wants to try to trip me up to say, okay, well, you, you know, you're too sick in this, and you can't do this, and you can't do that. But you know. I mean, I know what God told me, and I didn't know that I, I might be 60 years old before it happens, but I just know that that's something that I'm going to do before I leave this earth. 
you know, one way or the other. And um, even if it's to get it started for somebody else, I just know that this is going to happen. And if it doesn't, I'm going to have one heck of one in, in heaven. <laughs> but, um, he, you know, I mean, one way or the other, I know what God showed me. And so, you know, I'm going with that. But as far as, you know, my past and stuff like that, I don't let it define me. It, it does not define me like it used to. And I know that I've helped so many people, you know, with my past um, things that I had went through. I mean, it has allowed me to, um, you know, to help so many others you know, get through different situations. And, you know, the most important word there is through, you know, God got me through those situations, you know, and, you know, he, he brought me out of them. And, you know, and I praise him all the time for that and thank him every day for that because, you know, as much as I've been through in my life, I should ultimately be dead. But, you know, he's got bigger and better plans than, you know, I know or than anybody knows. And, um, you know, I mean, and in this chapter, she also talks about forgiving, you know, I mean, I I went through all the, the forgiveness part, you know, God kept reminding me, you know, of people that I needed to ask for their forgiveness for, of the people that hurt me. And I, I was, uh, I mean, my last husband, for instance, walked out on me and left me just high and dry. You know, God told me to apologize. And I said, he owes me an apology and God didn't let it sit. He let it, he kept on bothering me and bothering me and bothering me until I finally, you know, gave in and, and finally apologized to him. And, um, I, I, I never in a million years ever thought I would hear myself do that, but I did, you know, and I, I was released from that pressure. You know, sometimes even if you start in an argument or whatever, Sometimes it's better for you to apologize than it is to hang on to it, you know. And it, it, if you let it go, then, then, yeah, if you let it go, I mean, it, it releases you. You know, it doesn't really even have anything to do with the other person. It has to do with you, you know, um, because this is the way that God teaches us how to live, you know. And um, we, we have to do it his way. Um you know, and she also talks about, you know, his amazing grace. And where would we be without his grace? I mean, I, I, I live daily by it, don't y'all? <laughs> I mean, if we didn't have his grace, we wouldn't probably be able to walk down our, down the steps, you know, without falling. Um, you know, it's his grace that gets us through every situation, you know, that we have. And, you know, another little chapter she has is all is good, you know, all for, all for good. Which you know everybody knows Romans eight twenty eight all things work together for good to those who are called according to His purpose you know and it just that sometimes I think people use that as out of context you know but I mean all think think about it I mean even through the hardest times when we don't think that we can make it or, or we can't be you know picked up or, or or pick ourselves up you know I mean my goodness. He always, always, you know, works it all together when you look back and you think, oh, man, yeah, yeah, he got me through, you know, I mean, it's, it's like the joy and the, and the, that you just, you just have this abundance of joy inside of your heart. You're not bitter. You're not mean. You're, you, you know, you're grateful. You're thankful, you know, and I think that's a whole difference between a a Christian and a non-Christian is non-Christians. They might experience joy, but they don't have that joy of the Lord that we have. And I mean, that's why, gosh, it's just so important, you know, to put yourself out there and tell others about the Lord, because my goodness, who wouldn't want to experience that joy? I had, I've had so many people say, I want what you have. <laughs> and, and Oh, what an open door that is. You know, I just love it when people ask me that, you know, because they're going to they're going to hear the sinner's prayer. <laughs> but, you know, um, it, it's just um, it, anyway, that's 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 pretty much my take. You know, um, God is good and his mercy endures forever. Amen. 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 
Presenter Joan Avela has not arrived, so I'm just going to kind of tap on uh, some of what she was going to speak on, maybe, or just something. Mm -hmm. We're going to tap to her. Her focus was to be joyful, okay? And in that, uh, Terry's uh, first, she speaks. But uh, the land, the land is a land of hills. And she thought Tammy, do you have your headset on? Tammy. 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 Tammy, do you have your headset on? I don't have a headset on. No. You're going in and out. No, yeah, you. Yeah, we can't hear you. Uh... Oh, I'm so sorry. I don't know what that is. Uh, there you go. How it sounds I, like you have a poor disconnect or connection uh, to something. Could be that. That could be. That must be what's happening here. Because whatever you just pushed on, that was it. Did it help or hurt? Yes. Can you hear me well, whatever now? you're doing, that's helping. Yes. I, I picked up my device, so maybe that's that was it. I had it standing. Okay, well, let's start again. Uh, yes. Okay, uh, that's great. This, a chapter that I had designated to. Me. Thank you. It's still going it's in and out. Joyful. And it's, okay, I thought it was fixed. It's not. Okay. I'm not sure why it's doing that. I'm not sure if this is it may be. I, I'm on. It sounds like a radio wave or something that keeps yes. buzzing in. Yeah, right. right. It almost sounds like a plug, like you've got something that's not got a okay. good connection. I'm bringing up my. Better. Someone's arriving, Tammy. It may be the person you've been waiting for. That's that. I think that's me. That her? I'm coming in on my galaxy. Oh, that's you. That's okay. me. Coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm trying to switch my device. So I can. Is that better? Yes. Yes. Okay. A lot. Back. I'm to my. Much better. To see if that would uh, if that would be better. Yeah, so, that whatever you just did is perfect. I just yeah, I switched to my phone and, and went away from my tail. Hold on, a minute. Okay. So yes, choose to be joyful was uh, John Bayless uh, was going to speak on that, and I'm like I'm just going to pick up some notes. Uh, choose to be of it. Choose to be joyful. In in Terry Chappelle's um, book on choose to be joyful, she opens up with the scripture, but the land is a land of hills and valleys. And she uh, speaks of how synonymous it is with her house where she lives. That it's where she lives is like hills and valleys. She lives in a valley. And at the same time, a high desert. Um, so, you know, she kind of talks about the terrain of life being that same way, um, such as divorces. She, she, she picks up marriages, financial crisis, way with children. She goes into the story of how she was uh, setting herself out to, to go to uh, Sunday school. And in that moment, she 
got into a car and then got into the car only to realize she forgot the snacks. Then she got in the car, went and got into the house and got the snacks, came back out, forgot she had promised a party or something for the girls and needed party snacks. So she got out of the car again and went back into the house and got the snacks, got back into the car. Uh, oh, when she went to get the snacks, she didn't lock her keys in the house. All right. Oh. And now it's like, okay, she's in the car without keys. <laughs> and she's like, okay, <laughs> you know, this is just, uh, you know, what is this? So now she's in the car. Then she sits in the garage. She goes into her garage. She sits down. She remembers her son uh, had a window open or uh, mentioned something about whenever he gets locked out, he just climbs into his window. So she took that upon, she, she took that on and, and start, you know, wiggling herself through the window, got in the house, got her keys. And was able to get to Sunday school and and somewhat on time. Okay. But again, these circumstances, you know, you have to, there's always going to be something, in other words. And the thing she wanted to bring out was about how these shifting ties, these hills and valleys can affect, you know, how you feel. And that's what she said happiness was. Happiness was what happens to you depends on external circumstances, mm -hmm. all right? So that's not, of course, what we want. We want joy. Joy. Mm -hmm. Joy is what comes from your heart. And we know that, you know, like say the joy of the Lord is our strength, right? So right. looking at, you know, choosing to be joyful, uh, just kind of picking up again on page 95, it, it reads, you see happiness is based on what happens to you. And it depends on external circumstances that are often beyond your control. Mm -hmm. Joy, on the other hand, is based on what is in your heart. And Jesus yeah. promises that our joy can remain constant regardless of surrounding circumstances. Amen. Amen. Okay. D.L. Moody wrote, happiness is caused by things that happens around me and circumstances will mar it but joy flows right on through trouble joy flows on through the dark mm -hmm. joy flows yes. in position in the night in the yes. day through persecution through opposition okay it is an unceasing mm -hmm. fountain bubbling up in the heart a secret spring amen the world Amen. can't do and doesn't know anything Amen. about. It. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. The Lord gives his people perpetual joy mm. when they walk in obedience to him. Yes. Yeah. Just wanted to get that, that, that touch point of joy, you know, the joy Amen. of the Lord is in the street. Okay. <clears throat> we have unspeakable joy. That is something God has put in our heart. So we can always choose to be joyful. Yes. Yes. Well, ladies, like, that is I like that. I like that, Tammy. I like that. Amen. Amen. Yes. It's, it's always a choice. You know, as we walk, as we even every day walking through trials and tribulations, you never know what's going to happen in a day. God makes mm -hmm. the day, He orders our steps in the day, you know. But it's always a shifting thing. We may have certain things on our appointment book. We may have certain things that we, you know, know or think that we're going to do, but in a moment's notice, that can change. You can Amen. receive a call. You could, you know, be walking and distracted in the of anything. So we always have to Amen. allow for that. We all have always right. have to allow for that. You know, in reference to, we are not, we're never certain Amen. about any God makes the day. Amen. Yeah. Makes the day. But he gives us, of course, the, the wherewithal and the power, as she's saying, to Amen. understand that we count it all joy. Yeah. God says, you're counting all joy as you go through diverse temptations. All right. Yeah. You, as you go through trials and tribulations, you know, James said, count it all joy as you go through these joy. Things. Yep. Amen. So keep choose yeah. joy. Amen. Choose joy. Amen. 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 Everything. Choose it as soon as you wake up. 
Hey. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice. I will rejoice. Hey. Yeah, it's a choice. Yeah, yeah it's. A, I mean, what a good, yes. what a good title for this book. The choice yes. is yours. You know, I, I, I'll tell yes. my friends too. You know, you can wake up and I mean, you might feel like crap. You know, but if you tell yourself you feel like crap, well, guess what? You're mm-hmm. gonna feel like crap. But the choice is yours to choose. To speak that I feel awesome and wonderful today, you know, right. and do you know, well, if you keep gonna, telling yourself that right. your ears are going to hear it and, and before you know it, yes. you're going to start feeling it, you know, because I mean, that right. whole thing about, you know, in your ear gates, your eye gates, your, you know, all of that. Once you start hearing the word, what does it do? It gets down in your heart and it starts coming out of your mouth. Well, same deal. I mean, when you're feeling pain, you tell yourself you don't feel pain. And pretty soon, going in the ears, it's going in the heart and it's coming out of your mouth. And you feel that way. And so, again, the choice is yours. You know, you you have the power, you know, mm-hmm. in, in the word of God. And, and, I mean, the word of God tells us that we have victory over all of those things, you know, and, and so sometimes it's hard. I mean, you know, I mean, I just thank God for Tammy being so in tune with my brain, I guess she knows when something's going on with me, she'll give me a call and say, what's going on. (laughs) And I'll be a mess, you know? And I mean, you know, I'm not saying that we don't get ourselves in positions that, you know, we just, feel like we really just need to like vent, you know, tell it to somebody, talk to somebody, get them to say, okay, 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 well, you're doing this. Let's, let's try this. Speak this scripture. You know, I mean, we all need each other, you know, God made us to need one another, you know, and so use that, use that all the time. I mean, don't think just because you feel bad that you can't tell somebody, look, I, I just don't, I don't feel good right now. You know, I need help, <laughs> you know, call out to your brothers and your sisters, you know, that's what we're here for, you know? And, um, but it, you know, again, the choice is yours. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Well, well team, it has been an awesome present, uh, presentation inside takeaways. The yeah. whole book Amen. is like, it's definitely something we want to continue to meditate on. And um, you know, just just really share with others because it's yeah. a simple concept, but again, it's it's something you know. We think about choices all the time, and you know, say that you know, yeah. some of your life is the choices you made. You know, you hear that in the world, but in the kingdom in which we live, we know that we have power, and we know that we can endure things. You know, we, right. know we can change our life through our choice. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, and it never doesn't matter where you are in your life right now, you can always change it. Yes. All right. So we can't yes, definitely for the exactly. Thing. We continue to stand yep. on God's word. So the choice is yours has been a phenomenal. The presenters have just been off the chain great. So thank you for your input on your videos as well as coming forth before us tonight and sharing from your heart on other subjects that she on other chapters that um, hey, she spoke man. about. We thank you, Tony. Thank you, Thank you. And thank also, you. encourage people to get the book. How can they get the yes. book? And, yes, yes, you know, I'm going you. forth with that. In the thank midst of the you. pandemic, amen. In the midst of the pandemic, many of us have been faced with making a choice to take the vaccine or not take the vaccine. Mm-hmm. To continue to work in certain amen. conditions and work from home for the oh, first yeah. time. And celebrating Olivet, who has actually turned her her job is business, okay? So we can so many things, all in how you look at things, she's doing, doing well. So, uh, you know, we just hey. want to you know, look at choices. We have choices. We don't have to say where we are, mm-hmm. but uh, there were a couple other hey, chapters man. in there. So uh, choose to press on, choose to speak wisely. Uh, other chapters that you can, you know, uh, glean from and, uh, and you can get the book and the, even the book we will do in September. Our September book is titled Ferocious Warrior. Dismantling Ooh, the enemy. Oh, yes. Praise God. Ferocious Warrior, Dismantling Your Enemy and Rise by Cora Jakes. All right. So wow. you can get any of our books. Is that T.D. Jakes' wife? I think it's that's connected. A, that's to his Jake. daughter. It's his I daughter. It's, it's, oh, it's, okay. It's, okay. It's, okay. It's, okay. So yes, definitely, uh, you know, look forward to that in September. We already have our presenters intact. 
uh, for the 2nd, the 9th, the 16th, and the 23rd. And again, we will do a Zoom again on the 30th of September with those presenters. Uh, so please go to Amazon, to go to smile.amazon.com, smile.amazon.com, uh, you know, register there and you can definitely uh, get the book as well as simultaneously we get a, a donation benefit from that as well. Hey, so Tammy, when, we'll I, when, when I went to Amazon, um, the smile section, and I tried to plug in Cindy Dennis to donate, it didn't come up for me. Okay, uh, try smile.com, smileamazon.com. Okay. Okay, do the reverse, smile.amazon.com. Okay, no, don't, so don't put the dot in there. there. Don't put the dot, well, put, put smileamazon.com. It's no, it's there. Smile dot. I, I went to it early. Smile dot Amazon dot com, and then you can okay. once you sign in. Yeah, you you get it. Yeah. Uh, you you'll see that it's there. You sign and you register and you purchase all I, I, the books and maybe other stuff. But definitely the books. We get a portion of that donation from from uh, Amazon Smile. Excuse me, uh, Minister Franklin. Can you put that in the chat so well, that we yes. can see that? Uh, yes. Smile Can you put that in the chat? Amazon dot com. Can you yeah. type that in the chat, please? Thank you so um, much. Yeah, absolutely. Put that in the chat, Pat. Smile.amazon.com. Thank you. So yeah, we, you know, we're continuing with our books. We're excited about the theme of, of our year and what we're doing with our books as well as what we'll be doing next month with our prayer walk. Our prayer walk will be August the 16th through the 23rd. And our focus is love. Love never mm. fell. Okay. So we you will be Amen to that. about that coming forth. We will be receiving virtual prayer videos of you walking and, and just meditating on love. And we will do different uh points each day uh to focus on. So you can look for that in the Confident Woman Workshop as well as the Cindy Min Cindy Dennis Ministries platform. And what is that date again, please? That's August the 16th through the 23rd. We will be getting the prayer walk. I will be doing a promotion video for that uh, probably the week before. So, so okay, I think we are hitting our eight o'clock, our hour stretch mm -hmm. on Zoom. It's been a wonderful time. Ladies, continue to choose to make excellent hey, choices. Amen. And all you do, and know that you have the victory. We have all kind of spirit. We've heard from all angles of God, you know, through the videos. Revisit the videos, look at them, share them with others and definitely as we get this video up that's been recorded on zoom we you can share it as well okay thank you all right. thanks, thank, thank you. you bye hey, everyone love you, you all. The name. love you Excuse god bless you could i get you to put the name of the book the Which name book? of the book in the chat yeah because oh, i'm book? try i'm driving so that's i can't okay. write I, I can, the name okay, of yeah. the book no problem i'll text it to you okay all of it <laughs> yeah, text it to me oh, too, Tammy. Okay, okay, I'll text it to you all. See me? That's why I can all put right. it in the chat. Everybody can see it. Okay. No, we'll put it, in the, we'll put it in the chat Love as well. Ladies. We'll put it in the chat. Yes, no, we'll put it in the chat as well for all to see, but I will, uh, you know, share it with you as well. All right. Okay. Bye, everybody. All right. Bye, Good bye seeing everybody. Good seeing you. Bye bye. Great seeing you, ladies. Great seeing you, ladies. Be well.